What's up, YouTube? Thank y'all for tapping in on my channel. So today I got a special video, man. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite artists coming up as a kid. He go by the name of Camouflage. Now, if y'all don't know who he was, you know, he got his life took at the height of his fame, which is very sad to say. But now his daughter is carrying his legacy. And she is continued in the music, but these are some big shoes to fill. Because her dad was the truth. He was like another Tupac of the South. So why they actually kill him, the world may never know. Maybe it was jealous. Maybe it was hate. We don't know, but we are the people that listen to him, loved his music, and it hurt and devastated a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, to hear about the death of him because he was just about to make it big, you feel me? So with that being said, before we get into it, please remember, hit that subscribe, like, comment share you know the routine also don't forget hit that notification bell and you can get more videos like these thank you for tapping in and let's go born december 9th 1981 in savannah georgia jason johnson better known to the world as camouflage was a new up-and-coming artist now i'm gonna shoot out a couple of my personal favorite songs but his biggest hit that everybody knew him by was the song Cut Friends. Then he had a nice hit called Hot Grits. Then he had another song called Real Shit. Then he had another song called Heaven, It's Not That Far. And to me, Heaven, It's Not That Far is my favorite because in the song, it sounds like he almost knew that he was going to die, man. It's real sad. You know, the story's sad. And for the people that knew him in Savannah, I always heard he was like the hood Santa Claus, you know? He would come through the hood, giving away stuff, helping people, us? breaking people off. The whole hood respected him, loved him. So why somebody would kill him, you never know. But you know, it's always a jealous person that wants to be in your position and take your spot. He was at the height of his fame. I remember as a kid seeing his video make it to uh, BT, which was Cut Friends, and that's how I learned who he was. And I started looking more into his music after that. And recently after that, I found out he was dead. And it's crazy because, you know, you could tell he was a star on the ride. And it's sad because this has been happening a lot more lately. And I feel like the death of him was the beginning of this whole era where we at now. So, y'all, if you don't know who Camouflage is, y'all check him out. And the good thing, you know, he left a daughter behind. And she goes by the name of Fly J, which I learned about her on America's Got Talent when she did a show and then she was on stage saying that her dad was a rapper and he passed and his name was Camouflage. And how she named herself, I thought was brilliant. She the girl version, she his daughter and her name Fly J, which is feeds off of Camouflage, you know, a female version, which is, I love that, you know what I'm saying? So. With that being said, she's continuing his legacy, and I salute her for that. Mm -hmm. But, um, man, y'all, if y'all don't know who he is, I suggest you go check him out, bro. Like, his music is the truth. You know, R.P. Camouflage, man, you were too young to go. Pure pain records. You know, let's go. On May 19th, 2003, that's the day they caught him slacking. I guess somebody, the story is somebody caught him coming out of the studio, I guess, or walking by a studio with his kid, and they opened fire on him and killed him. You know, and it's sad because, you know, he, he didn't expect that he was walking with his child either to the studio or from the studio, and they snuck. They caught him lacking, they ran up on him, and they shot him. And I've heard all kind of rumors. I've heard all kinds of stories. Even one story to where the video cut friends have at the end, the dudes are looking for him and they see him through the window and he drives away like they wanted to kill him in the video. Then he comes up dead. There was rumors like the video could have been some kind of truth to it, this and that. But we, we don't really know. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the truth. I love to know the truth because, you know, hey. That's what I do, but at the same time, ain't nothing we can do to bring him back, you feel me? So the truth is not gonna matter. It's been too many years, man. 
like I said, he got killed back in 2003 at the height of his fame. He was the next big thing. You can look it up. You can Google it, you know. But now his daughter, she did that performance. It's called Put the Gun Down. You know, it's real touching because she speaks on everything. Like, like my dad would have been here. You would have just put the gun down. You hear me? So if y'all don't know about that, go check that out. Go check out Camouflage, do y'all's own research, and let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And other than that, man, I'm just tapping in. So much love. Remember, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that, you know. And um, I got another video coming soon. My next video, I'm going to be interviewing a man who has claimed to have seen Sasquatch. Now, how this is going to go, we don't know. But, yeah. That's what it is, man. Representing. We in here. Thank y'all for tapping in. Much love. Rest in peace, Kim Fly. We miss you, bruh.